So to use a sports analogy here, they're all likely regrouping, licking their wounds, looking at the game tape from last night as they prepare for right. the debate here on News Nation a month from now. Who came out with the biggest highs last night in the performance? Well, you know, I thought it was interesting for a number of reasons. Number one, they, they only had five candidates on that stage. Of course, the number one candidate who leads the national polls by some 45 points on average, Donald Trump, holding a competing rally just down the road in Hialeah. Uh, but it was those five candidates going after each other, and there was a change in tone, I thought, first of all, going after Trump. Uh, you played that bite from Ron DeSantis, uh, echoing uh, Donald Trump's uh, 2016 mantra of their, you're going to get tired of winning. Well, he says, uh, does DeSantis, that Republicans are tired of losing, because you remember on Tuesday, uh, Republicans suffered setbacks at the polls in a number of states in an off-year election. Uh, also, another debate marked by sharp exchanges between Vivek Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about why Nikki Haley in particular is going after Ramaswamy, why they're going after each other, what she stands to gain. You always want to look at this, if you've been watching politics for a long time, as a calculation. Uh, and why one candidate feels like they need to use the other as a foil. But last night, I think for the first time, Ramaswamy, Vivek Ramaswamy, really got under her skin when that whole exchange about TikTok, when Ramaswamy said that uh, Nikki Haley, the former governor of South Carolina, uh, her daughter had been on TikTok, Ramaswamy implying there was some hypocrisy there and telling her to get her own house in order, uh, drawing that sharp rebuke that you may have heard about from Nikki Haley saying that Ramaswamy was, quote, scum. Uh, but then we, you know, we heard Nikki Haley also getting her distance from Donald Trump, saying uh, the time was right in 2016 for Donald Trump. The time is not right for uh, Donald Trump now in 2023 and going into 2024. And we also heard Ron DeSantis say that he's a changed man, is Donald Trump. Uh, but still, those five, and who knows when, uh, you know, we all dive into the crimson tide on December 6, News Nation hosting that debate down in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, who, how many candidates are going to be on the stage, whether pre the former president is going to appear himself. Remember, uh, our debate that we are hosting at News Nation occurs uh, just before the holidays and just before, just a little bit more than a month before the first votes are cast in Iowa on January 15th. So a lot at stake coming up in Tuscaloosa, certainly on December 6th, with Elizabeth Vargas and Megyn Kelly, as you see there. Uh, hosting that debate, moderating that debate, I should right. say. Right, and we appreciate Marnie. the responsibility we all have here at News Nation to right. host this debate at such an important time with wars in Ukraine and also Israel happening. You brought up the former president. He is continuing to be the elephant in the room at each of these debates. He will be at the debate in December. What are the chances, the factors that he might be considering, knowing that Iowa is coming up strong in January, that he may want to show up for this as he faces criticism for not being at the table? Well, I, th I think the strategy is obvious, and it's been spoken uh, explicitly by not only the former president, but his aides repeatedly since these debates started. Of course, we've seen three debates so far. Uh, and that is that he has nothing to gain and everything to lose uh, by participating in these debates. After all, uh, if you look at the average across the country and, and his lead in the polls is upwards of 40 percent. Uh, now, Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis in particular have been dueling uh, for sort of second place in the polls. And the thought has always been, well, one of them will catch fire and sort of uh, start to challenge and emerge as the number one uh, contender uh, to sort of dethrone uh, the former president and his status as the number one, the leading candidate in the polls. Uh, and, I, and so I think you start, started to see last night, uh, as particularly Ramaswamy, he said, quote, he was going to be unhinged. Uh, he started taking taunting jibes at everybody from Vladimir Zelensky, the president, of Ukraine, calling him a comedian in cargo pants, uh, and going after the media, the NBC moderators there, saying that we should be talking to Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson, and not these people, pointing out, uh, pointing out the NBC moderators. So, I mean, that is a tried and true uh, tactic on the part of Republicans, and particularly the former president. That sort of jeering and that taunting, and even as Ramaswamy himself called him unhinged. Uh, it's unclear whether or not Ramaswamy, who has been losing altitude in the polls, that's going to get him traction uh, as we head into our debate on December 6th in just over a month's time. Uh, but what could spur the former president, it's all speculation at this point, after all, is if one of them, DeSantis or Haley, really does pose a serious threat, and then the calculation would be, uh, is it to our advantage, our net advantage of the former president uh, to appear on the same stage with them to sort of nip that in the bud? But uh, I'm sort of speculating here. I'm playing the pundit. 
Uh, we don't know if the former president will be on the stage when we host that debate in Tuscaloosa on December 6th. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.